Hey y'all, I am in a room I don't normally record in. I have raided Tommy's, sorry, I have raided Tommy's uh, coin thing here, his coin collection. He calls it his vacation fund because I am looking for some copper pennies which are pennies that were manufactured before 1982 I need a magnifying glass I'm 51 years old and uh, some of these are harder to read than others but uh, yeah so I'm still doing the electroculture experiment so they say that you can use copper pennies as well so uh, I was like mm, Tommy's at work all weekend I'm gonna go through this jug and see what I can find as far as copper pennies go so I'm just going through these pennies and I'm looking for anything before 1982. So far, the oldest one I have found is 1959. Because the I have to blow them, some of them up. Um, the ones made before 1982 have copper in them. And we're going to use those in our electroculture gardening to see if you can use copper pennies. See, there's one, 1979. All right, well, I have at least 20 here, so we're going to go put these out in the garden. So I planted some mustard seeds in this garden, in this bed the other day. So this is where I'm just going to randomly place all of these, can you see them, copper pennies? And we will My chickens see me throwing them around and they're giving me a look like, do I want to come eat what you're putting in there? So hopefully they don't come over here and eat my pennies. That would not make me happy. All right, well, the pennies are in the bed and we will wait and see if it does anything for my mustard bed I've got going here. I also bought a really long copper down rod, ground rod, ground rod the other day and Tommy's going to cut that up for me to put in the bed where I'm going to be planting carrots, but that'll be coming next week probably. So anyway, keep your fingers crossed that this does something for the garden. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.